Food security is a major concern these days in every nation. Be it the food crops or eggs or even fish consumers are demanding high quality hygienic food at a reasonable cost. And the fact is, this demand will crazily shoot up by 2030 when the global population is expected to touch 10 billion. This is insane. This will also result in accelerating demands for this foodstuff. And to meet up this demand, the current mechanism will not be a feasible solution. To eliminate food concerns and to meet up the rising demand, sustainable farming should be opted for. For growing vegetables and fruits, experts have already started integrating their system with amazing technology. Vertical indoor farming is a reasonable solution which has been practiced. But what about the growing demands for turbot, salmon, and other varieties? How will they manage to boost the production yield? Well, the answer to this is really fantastic. The solution is already found by experts for reasonable fish farming and meeting the demands. One such big farm in the world is already constructed and monitoring the healthy growth of those tiny animalias. Let's buckle up to know what is this new farm all about and how is it managed by a brilliant set of people. Firstly, the historic agricultural techniques required massive manpower and a crazy amount of resources and took a long time for the output to be fully ready. This needed a dramatic shift to feed every mouth on Mother Earth. Experts and scientists added a tech touch to the previous methods and finally ended up finding the best solution for the future. Such technologies will be playing a vital role in the future to feed all of us with healthy and hygienic foodstuff. Now, coming to fishes, from the reports it was found that the natural breeding has extensively decreased and so is the final output, all thanks to extensive activities which resulted in lower rates of this aquatic life. And if the same actions continue, then the chances are pretty high that tons of wild fishes will disappear very soon. However, experts are now concentrating more on the quick fix, not on the problems. So they are extensively working on developing more and more sophisticated farms and agriculture areas which could help in mass production with the best quality output in a really small span. And the surprising part here is that the output from these specialized techniques is already available on the shelf of supermarkets. The future output for seafood is highly dependent on this new technology as the traditional process for seafood farming on land or even at coasts is creating a huge mess to the natural environment. Pollution is at its peak because of traditional techniques and also these methods have resulted in horrible disease outbreaks in several areas. What is modern farming all about? So experts came up with an idea to build gigantic areas which are 3 miles away from the coastline in the deep seas where water is resilient and so the output will be incredible. These are amazingly named offshore farms and are currently practiced in only a few parts of the world. One can spot most of these advancements in China. The last two to three decades were a dramatic game changer for China's booming fish farming. Be it anywhere in restaurants or on the shelves of supermarkets, you will get a perfect taste, qualitative and cheap seafood because of mass availability. In the last few years, they have adopted the best technology and built ultra-modern machinery which has led to an insane shoot-up in the aquaculture industry that is farming fish in ponds, tanks and seas all over the nation. And to a surprise, this diversifying agriculture has developed massive floating cities. One example is Salmar Company which has achieved some phenomenal success in collaboration with China Shipbuilding Industry Corps CSIC. This is one of the largest shipbuilding companies in this nation. There were six gigantic farms in total and all of them are structured pretty similarly to semi-submersive plants which are used for offshore gas and oil extraction. The first one was reported to be built in 2017. It was navigated to Norway from the Shandong province of China. This is an incredible project with a perfect blend of the Norwegian agriculture industry and Chinese marine engineering technology. It is concentrated mainly on producing salmon and other varied types of fish as well to meet the growing demands. This industry is really important for China's growth as annually it brings about $9 billion to the country's economy which is huge and also equal to 8% of the total exports from the nation. Keeping that in mind, the advancements are up to date with new technology. One of that farms is equipped with automatic fishing techniques, deep sea positioning, hydrological monitoring, and lastly with a biological lighting control system. All this is assembled between a farm that's 110 meters wide and about 67 meters high. This gigantic equipment can be fixed underwaters in the open sea at a length of about 100 meters to 300 meters. 
talking about the size of the fish farm, it can assemble more than about 15 gigantic tanks, and each of these tanks will be larger than two standard swimming pools. The quality of equipment used in this area is fantastic, and there's no need for any external source to carry out the entire growth process in that area. It's so sufficient and well designed that it can be operated for almost about constant 25 years in the sea. And the most exciting part is its strength. It is so strong that the farm can handle earthquakes of about 12 points, which is super intense. Despite all the major qualities of the agricultural floating land, there is no compromise in the quality and quantity of fish produced. This is capable of producing about 1.5 million fish per year per farm. Only seven people are required to handle the entire structure. Most of the parts of the process are integrated with technology like artificial intelligence, machine learning, sensors, monitoring systems, and other such automation. Thanks to this technology, it ensures 98% fish survival rates. And it's completely safe and hygienic as there are several self-cleaning agents installed on these floating farms. And on the other side, the health of fish is regularly monitored in the laboratories by scientists. Another such structure is all ready to afloat and grow fish. This massive floating farm is already out for a sale from the eastern port city of Qingdao and is expected to float to the Yellow Sea, East China Sea, and the South China Sea. It is set to travel to varied regions, so a variety of fishes can be cultivated depending on the ideal temperature required for fish. Soon, the results of this massive fish farm will be out, and it's presumed to be sold in the East China Sea. When coming to the technology part of this fish farm, there is a constant supply of seawater in the cabins, so the environment is stable and appropriate for cultivating fish as well. Being impressed with the technology and the success, the nation has planned to build the same models, and those will be active by 2024. This floating city is capable of cultivating more than 1.1 million baby salmon, and those baby salmon that are once grown into older ones will soon be out on the market. What other measures are taken to accelerate fish production? Another crazy idea to boost agriculture is the increased growth rate and decreased breeding time of various fish is mobile aerating aerobic detoxifying technology. This was launched a decade back in some parts of southeastern China where more than 100 acres of perch and bass farms were established. This new technology in China was first implemented in Zhejiang province and was prominently used to control environmental pollution and save billions of metric tons of water annually. Interesting, isn't it? The best part about this technique is it reduces the level of ammonia and nitrogen levels in each pond or lake or reservoir, eventually helping to improve the circulation of oxygenated water. Also, the safety level is pretty satisfactory in this technique as it reduces the probability of infected species of this ship, which means farmers have access to the highest profit yields from this innovative agriculture technique. One most fascinating fact is that these large spread solar panels obstruct the sunlight and allow very little to negligible sunlight to fall on the water. This limited sunlight contact reduces the temperature of water, which eventually is a green flag for the breeding of crayfish. The entire process for breeding as well as solar panels is automated, so only six to eight personnel are hired to maintain the entire process. The total energy generated from the solar panels is distributed to 20,000 houses all around the year. This sustainable development is helping to grow fish farming as well in China. The next modern fish farming technique can be spotted in Fatan Town of East China's Fujian Province. In this province of China, they specially concentrate on breeding puffer fish, and by just doing this, the entire town's annual output is as high as $43.4 million, which might have even increased in the past few years. Finally, what are your thoughts on fish breeding? Will other countries also opt for it to boost production? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China is carrying out its fish farming, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.